soil. You've searched through your snail tank soil this morning like you should do um, regularly for eggs and you found a clutch. What do you do? So first of all, don't panic. Um, it's an e there's an easy solution to this. Um, but the first thing you need to do, put them in a bag, take them out, put them in a bag and go through the, the soil three or four times to make sure you haven't missed one because there's, there's always one. I can guarantee there's always one that escapes the first lots of scooping out. And you put them in a food bag like this. They are very small and they are hard like a chicken egg. I'll show you a size of one. There you go, so as you can see, very, very small, very tiny. But they stand out like a sore thumb because they're basically like a polystyrene ball in the middle of the soil. They're very easy to spot. They stand out. So you put them in a food bag first of all because you don't want to breed them. Don't do it. Um, so yeah, number one, don't breed them. Um, the pet trade is full of snails that people don't want where they've missed clutches of eggs. They are, a lot of them in the pet trade are genetically inferior because there's been a lot of inbreeding in the pet trade. It's like the goldfish trade, there's a lot of inbreeding in the pet trade because um, a lot of the snails that are in the pet trade are where owners have missed a clutch of eggs and then all of a sudden they've got like 30 snails to get rid of. Um, do not release them into the wild, that is illegal and it is illegal in the UK to do that. It's legal to have them as a pet but it is not legal to release them into the wild because they are an invasive species. Personally as well, I think it's quite cruel because of how cold it gets in the UK in winter, it would kill them off. Pretty, I think it would pretty much guarantee they'd die, but there's no guarantees. So do not release them into the wild. A, that's cruel, and B, it's illegal. Don't breed them, like I said. So what do you do? Well, inside the egg currently, um, unless you've left it for six weeks, um, there's just goo, um, like in a chicken egg. You know any chicken egg where you crack it open, you've got the white and the yolk? Well, inside a snail shell, it just looks like the white of the egg. It's just white goo, which is obviously the genetic material needed to make a new snail. So at this moment in time, if you've caught them the week or two that they've hatched, um, been laid, then there's nothing in there so I personally don't feel any guilt in getting rid of the eggs because there's no baby snail in there if it was a little snail with a shell and a little face I can't I'd have to keep it so what I need to do is get rid of the eggs as soon as and that's what I advise you to do now a couple of options you can squish them and obviously that the snail will not form you can then feed the snail the, the eggs, the shells back to your snails so they can replace the calcium they've lost when they made the eggs because they lose a lot of calcium when they make the eggs and it's quite hard on their bodies. Um, I feel a bit weird about feeding them back their eggs. That feels weird to me, but it, it, you know they can you can do that. Um, so there's no harm in that. You could just squish them and. Leave them in a bag, squish them and chuck them in the bin. Perfectly valid way of getting rid of the eggs. You could feed them to a pet that you have that would eat the eggs. Um, I know blue tongue skinks eat snails, but I don't know if they eat eggs, so I don't know personally of an animal that would eat them. Um, I've only got goldfish and snails, so I don't know. But if you've got a pet that would eat them, by all means feed them to to your pet or my preferred method is I will put them in this food bag and I roll up the food bag like so and then I put a little bit of tape on just to keep it all wrapped up and I've made sure when I put the eggs in here I've got no soil on the outside of my food bag if you're not sure and you still feel a bit squeamish put another bag over the top pop that in the bottom of your freezer for 48 hours to make sure that the eggs are not gonna turn into snails. Um, and then chuck the packet in the bin. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this in the bottom of my freezer, away from my food. I'll actually put it next to my fish, goldfish food. Um, and I'll leave them for 48 hours at the bottom of my freezer, away from my food, double bagged. Um, 
and then I'll chuck them in the bin. Sorted. Um, so yeah, you do whatever you're comfortable with, um, but don't let them grow, don't let them develop. I know we had it the once um, where I work, we had some and they hatched and no one knew. <laughs> and then there were lots of little babies everywhere. We picked out 350 when we collected them all in a tub. There was like 350 baby snails. And they were all adorable with like tiny little shells and tiny little faces. I adopted six of them and kept them as pets because I couldn't face them all going. Um, and then someone else froze them to um, obviously get, get rid of them because there was 350 of them and there's no way we were keeping 350 of them. So yeah, make sure you check regularly for eggs and make sure you do dispose of them correctly by freezing them. And yeah, that's it. That's how to uh, dispose of African land snail eggs. Uh, little tip as well is if you've just found a clutch of eggs, thoroughly check for at least the next three weeks or so because you'll probably find there'll be another one. I find that if one snail's laid a clutch of eggs, another one tends to shortly after. But you should be checking every week for eggs anyway because you need to make sure they're disposed of straight away. If you're wondering how long eggs take to hatch, they take about six weeks to fully grow and form and then they hatch roughly six weeks after being laid. Um, so you've got, a, you've got a little bit of time to get rid of them, but you do need to get rid of them. Um, but don't panic, it's perfectly fine. It's part of having them as a pet. It's one of the responsibilities of being an African land snail owner is dealing with the eggs. Um, when you've scooped them out um, and yeah that's the best thing to do is freeze them um, like I said you could squish them but I, f that, I don't know I feel a bit weird about squishing them and then feeding them back to this to the snails it just grosses me out a bit so me personally I'm going to freeze them And don't think as well if you've got one snail that you escape this process because that's not necessarily true. Your snail is only got to have met, met another snail and bred with them once and then they, they will lay some eggs um, at some point and they're quite good at holding on to the genetic information um, and they could just lay eggs randomly. I think it's up to a, it's up to a year they can hold the genetic information off the other snail, I think. I'm not sure that they could because I don't think they can self reproduce um to my knowledge they can't even though they're male and female ma they're hermaphrodites so they're both male and female they can't self reproduce to my knowledge could be wrong um but they've only got to have met another snail once and bred with it that's it they've got all the information they need and you could randomly have an egg cluster of eggs one day and then before you know it your one snail's turned into 350 um so always check for eggs and always freeze them get rid of them um so yeah i hope you found this video useful thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye for now